last video we looked at the kit. In this video we'll look at the two uh, detail sets by Mark One Design. And by Pointos. And we'll start with the Pointos set. So it comes packed with a nice piece of foam. If you you should keep this because then you can break bits off and use it for chipping effects and whatnot. And I'm sure there's lots of other uses for it. We get a bag full of all the tarned brass parts, which we'll look at. Uh, all the foot wedge frets or sheets come in a nice uh, box. We've got the instructions. some more photo wedge and the wooden decks themselves. The instructions themselves are very nice. You get five double-sided sheets of A3. And I went through all the photo wedge frets and everything's covered except for the portholes and I think one or two little bits, but typically everything's covered. What's also good is you get all the turn brass, which is easier to see in some of the other sets. And it's nice, glossy paper. So you get five sheets, double-sided. So 10, 10 sheets on pages all up. What I really like about Pointos instructions is you can go to the Pointos website and download high quality PDFs. So you can zoom in on your uh, tablet or computer to see up close yeah they're very highly detailed okay. i won't go through them all but you can actually see just how much information is on them We'll have a look at the foot wedge frets themselves. So they come in a bubble wrap bag. And then each sheet's got its own sleeve. And uh, you also get some water markings for the side of the hull for the for the depth. The first sheet is on like a stainless steel or nickel steel. And these have all the, the torpedo net shelves. Very fine. And then all the supports. These, these brackets here are for the booms. And we have another sheet here. Uh, down in the corner, you get the photo wedge uh, fret number. So this is number 11. It comes with two types of portholes. You just get the plain ones and then you get one to be these bars. And I think they're for the lower hull to protect the, the porthole. Got a lot of rigging lines here. And these are all gun parts for the smaller guns. This fret here, we've got all the gun port hatches. These are the stern and bow ones. Got a lot of stairs, or ladders, sorry. Lots of rigging. These are oars. This is, they don't tell you in the instructions where they go, but I think you just place them within the, the smaller ship's boats. Here's all the ship's boats uh, crutches where they sit on. Uh, swarts for the ship's boats and here's a lot of the Dalit rigging detail which is very fine. These are the accommodation ladders with the platforms. Next up, so this is the, I guess, the uh, hull extension and you have ship's boats sitting in here. 
don't know if you can see, but they do have some kind of stains on them. I don't know if that's fingerprints from me previously or... But that's okay, I mean, they'll get painted anyway, but... Uh, these are for the funnels. And the funnel caps and the funnel platform here. Lots of detail on this one. These are all skylights. We've got the anchor chain plates that sit on the deck. All these squares or rectangles, they're all uh, skylights. Uh, ship's hose reels here. There's geared wheels as well. That's uh, skylights. <coughs> so these are the mast platform supports, the mast platforms themselves. Lots of rings for rigging on the masts. The ladders, they go up the masts. These are the anchor shelf uh, plates. So we've got a, a lot of detail to remove from the kit to be replaced by these uh, plates here, which is very nice. And some uh, boom brackets that we need to fold in half for the booms to rest in. So in this one we've got the turret, the 12 inch turret tops. We've got the rear Adebarro's walk uh, platform uh, with its handrail. I like these here, these plates with all the holes in them. These aren't used other than for templates. So they give you the position of the holes to drill uh, for the foot, foot rests or foot steps. And here's them there. So you just tape these onto the hull and then drill your holes and it gives you a good accurate position for them. This is what I like about the Ponto set is this panels here, this one and this one, these actually replace the plastic part for the cabins. Uh, so that's the main bridge with the chart room and then the rear one as well. So you actually remove all the plastic and just leave the top and then you fold these up. So you've got a scale thickness rather than a, a big thick plastic wall. So that's very nice. And then the last fit from that box, these are the four and a half superstructures. So you've got the underside and these are all, has uh, ribs in here. So to locate the bracing on the underside and then we've got the tops, the top decks. So I'm not sure what one's what, but you've got a fore and aft as well. Then you've got the supports for that bridge. And here's all the under, underside bracing here. Here. Okay. So the last packet of photo which actually includes the decks as well, so. But this sheet here uh, is all the handrails, or mostly handrails. We've got another carbon wall here, I think this is in the mid deck. And then these here, I'm pretty sure are for the braces that go across for the boats to sit on. This one here is the torpedo nets. And it's very fine. It's again made of the stainless or nickel, so uh, nickel steel, I'm not sure. But I don't know if the camera's picking up. Got a bit of a crease in this one. But they're very delicate. And then lastly, we've got the wooden deck. So obviously, uh, Got a protective plastic on the back for the adhesive. This is the the aft deck, and of course we have to remove all these laser cut parts for the photo which to sit in. So 
So the off deck, and then the mid deck here. And then the, the bow and the two, uh, that's the f four and aft superstructures or bridge deck. Okay, let's go look through the, the other bits and pieces. Additional bark here. So in this bag we have the resin parts and these things are like fair leads, uh, capstans, we've got the searchlight bodies here and a few other bits and pieces. And in this, in the Pontus set, the chrysanthemum is a resin part. Okay. Also in here we've got some life rings and I'm not sure if you can make up but you can see the clear lenses for the searchlights. Okay. We have two brass uh, propellers or screws. They look quite nice. So two of them. And then we get some chain. This chain's actually very nice as well. I have bought off the market chain in the past and it's nowhere near as nice as this. And the other big bag is all the tiny brass parts. And this has got some of the yards for the masts. Uh, these will be the hose reels, drums, a few other bits and pieces. So on Pontus, and we'll see what Mark One Designs the same as, but a lot of the parts, or multiple parts, are in one. Uh, can see any here. Oh, so the likes of this one here. That's like four different parts, so you actually have to separate the ones that you need. So there's some more yards here, or these could be booms for the torpedo net. And we've got some various other drums here, I'm not sure what they're for. Here's the fore and aft uh, mast sections. So as two main sections here. This is a really nice mold in this one. Or, not molding, uh, machining. This is for the the booms. Or boom, I should say. And hopefully you can see that, it's very nice. And then, oh, here's a good example of the uh, multiple parts. And these are very fine. So separating these, we'd have to be careful. So I think these are the 47mm deck guns. And then the big lump at the back is actually the base for the pedestal. So once you separate that and build it up, it will then fix onto that. And then the last bag is the 12 inch gun barrels, six inch gun barrels and, yep, and the three inch barrels as well and then that's our axle points for the or the mounting points for the 12 inch barrels to go into the turrets okay so that's everything for the Pontus set we'll have a look at the Mark 1 design set next Right, let's have a look at the Mark I design set. Some scrunched up sheets of paper for 
packaging. For the instructions, we've got 10 pages double-sided on A4 and these are the biggest letdown of this kit. I haven't done a full inventory check on this one because I'm not going to use this as my main set but it appears to be that there's a substantial amount of information not covered and then information that is covered is quite big. I will show you an example of that, which was for the guns. This six inch gun here, we get the parts, we get it assembled, and then we get a picture. It's, it's very vague. There's a lot of working out to do to see how this is gonna to go together compared to the, the Pontos. And you can't get these, like the font has high quality PDFs to zoom in on, so you're kind of just looking at what you've got. I really dislike these. We've got a box, which is good. We got a takeaway box with all the uh, turn brass and accessories, etc. And then we have a card with the wood decks and all the photo wet sheets stapled to them. I actually put the Tamiya tape on myself previously to stop them flapping about. Okay, so again, these ones are for the deck ventilators. So that's the grooves for the uh, earlier version. These uh, semicircles that's for the 1905. These slot together to form a, a cross. And we've got some ship's wheels. Oh, nice. And I like these. I'll use these because the Pontus set doesn't cover these. These are the caps of the ventilators. So I'll use them. The next three are the same. And these are the torpedo nets. So rather than have one continual etching, uh, we've got them all separated. You can see the hanging points, which are a bit heavier than the pointers ones. And these look like uh, rigging blocks and some blocking tackles. So I may be using these. I won't use the torpedo nets. And we've got three of them. The difference being these two have the portholes and these have already got the protective guards uh, etched in rather than folding them like you have to do with a pointer set. And then these have got the blank uh, portholes or plain portholes. I might end up using these and the grilled ones already done. It will save me cutting and bending the Pontus ones, but we'll see. The next three are handrails and the torpedo net shelf. And then we've got some handrails around the tops of the cabins, the upper cabin. And these two are just handrails. So on this one, we actually have a lot of uh, hatches. And these are for the mid-deck corridors. Pontos don't supply any of these. And I'm guessing because in their location, it'd be very difficult to, to see. So Pontos haven't done them, mark one half. But I'll, I'll use these. We've got some different types as well. We've got some double ones, singles. And then we've got the skylights as well. I'm not sure what that is. That must be the, the rear hatches to the Admiral's Walk. And then we've seen these before for the fore and aft uh, gun ports. These two here, I believe, is on the upper hull extension, which again, Pontos don't do. I'll be using that one. 
So here's all the gun port hatches, the accommodation platforms, including the one with the awning on top. I'm guessing that's hose reels, skylights. So very similar to the Pontos in that respect. On this one, so this is a big change from the Pontos where for the ship steam launch, they actually re replace the whole upper works. Pontos only have a couple of bit, little add-ons. These are the whole tops, top section down. And these are the steps for the hull or for the mast, I'm not sure. And with various cleats and whatnot. So these are unique to the Mark I as well, and this replaces the funnel top and there's turned brass cylinders that fit in here. So they replace the kit part fully. Pontus don't do that. On the sides of the, the funnel, we've got these, I forget the name of them now, guy stays or something, but like handholds or footholds, and these rings go all the way up th through the funnel. Ponos just have uh, like strengthening straps. The platform here isn't as nice as the Pontus one. In fact, this isn't much better than the plastic one, to be honest. And then we've got some uh, ladders again. So here's the upper hull deck plate again. Very similar to the Pontus one. The Pontus one has on the ends, looks like linoleum. This has got the foot anti-slip all the way through. Anchor chain guides. And then all the braces, I'm guessing, for the torpedo net ash off. And then the rear Admiral's walk handrail. So very similar. And we've got a lot of oars here as well. Some details, not sure what they are. Very fine. There's nothing wrong with the etchings. I mean, the actual quality of them is very good. <coughs> A similar fret. This one has the same top, but this has got the Admiral's, Admiral's walk as well. The Pontus one's built up of three different layers. This looks to be a single layer. And then we've got some davits. Uh, some hooks and blocks. And then some final rigging for the davits. So I think I'll be using a lot of this davit detail because the Pontus is a bit light on that. But again, I'll, I'll see when we come to do it. The Mark 1 set does supply some coloured photo etch. So we have the life rings uh, and we've got flags as well. So you can either put the flags in this format, which is a simple one with all the different colours, or you can have the individual coloured flags, which is a nice touch, I'll use that. And th these are some kind of directors or signal devices. I'm not sure. And then we've got some cage at the back of the ship for the life rings to go into. And then, of course, we've got the navigation light boards, uh, red for port and green for starboard. But these are very simple. The Pontus one is made up of multiple parts and it's quite a large assembly. So I won't use that. And it looks like a clock, but I believe it's like a radar position indicator. Possibly, I'm not sure. So all these flags and these indicators you don't get in Pontos. It appears to be mast, some braces for the mast stops, I believe. Some rigging, blocking tackles again. Uh, the footholds are step irons, some railings, and these are the mast ladders. And again, some blocks for rigging. You get a lot more sheets of photo etch, I think.
So in here we've got the boat crutches. I'm not sure what these are. Uh, ladders, accommodation ladder. These are the supports for the ship's boats to sit on. Very tight. So that's the mast platforms. Again, some more rigging blocks by the looks of it. Uh, some rigging, I think it's for the booms, for the boat boom. A couple of them. These are the footsteps or horses, I think the correct name is. It hung underneath the yards and the mast for the sailors to stand on. These appear to be gun parts. Some ladders. That's the front of the turrets or the turret casements. That goes in the turret. There's a few little bits and pieces on the turrets that I might use as well. The pointers don't have. Ah. Oh. So for the 12 inch gun turret, Pontus does the flat plate around the side. Mark 1 design don't do the plate, but they do this blast grill on the roof in the center of the ceiling of the, the turret. I think it's like a blast off panel, I'm not sure. But these Mark 1 design does that and Pontus does the other. So between both of them, I should have a fully foot wedge turret top. And then the last sheet here is all, I think it's gun shields. And various gun parts here. So Pontus number their frets, one, two, three, four, etc. Uh, Mark one design uses alphabetical A, B, C, D, etc. So that's all the frets we've got for that. We'll have a look at the turned parts and the other bits and pieces next. Before we do that, I forgot about the wooden decks. So we've got the fore and aft decks. Again, with the cutouts. They're actually falling out already. For the various deck furniture. And again, mid deck. For upper bridge and upper structure decks and the aft ones and the cabins. If I'm honest, I think the quality of the deck and laser cutting is actually nicer on the Mark 1. I'd have to see them side by side, but I'd have to use the Pointers one anyway because I'll be using the majority of the Pointers parts. So. These will be cut to suit the Mark 1 design and similarly pointers will be cut to mark what they're upgrading. So they won't be interchangeable without a lot of additional work. So this first bag, these are all the funnel tops which you don't get in the pointer. So there's multiple uh, pipes that stick out the top of uh, uh, both funnels. And I think these are a lot nicer. The plastic part in the kit uh, you'd have to drill out holes and thin the sides and that. They're not very great mouldings in the kit. Now, I do like this ones here. These are like the compass binnacles. You don't get anything like that in Pontos. So each of the cabins on the upper lower decks have these compasses. They're very nice. And I believe these are like voice pipes as well. So ship controls you don't get in Pontos. So I'll definitely be using these, they're nice. So in this one we've got white metal anchors, which is nice. Don't get that in Pontos. We also have the bow chrysanthemum. So the kit obviously is plastic and that's made up of multiple parts. Pontos had a resin part. And these are, I think, gold-plated metal some type. So that's very nice. We've got a lot of similar ones here. So these are booms. I'm guessing these are for the torpedo nets. 
And again, there's nothing wrong with any of the turn brass in this kit. It's as good as or compatible to the Pontus. And then we've got the main mast parts as well in some of the yards. I believe that big chunky ones and just a connector. And then here we have all the gun barrels. So the 12 inch ones look like aluminium instead of brass is the other one. Six inch barrels. Uh, and then the three inch barrels. And it looks like you get the finer ones as well, the 47 millimeter barrels. And then we've got a lot of little, these must be pedestals for the guns. I don't think you get as much tanned brass as you do with this Pontus though. And then we've got the resin parts. So these are the main boom parts and in Pontus they're brass. These are resin. Uh, searchlight bodies again, same as. I'm not sure what these are. We've got a length of chain as well. It looks to be a bit finer than the pointers. And then we've got some mast hoops. So the last thing you get in that box is these white metal. They're supposed to be splinter shields and it's splinter shields, splinter matting. So these would be all around the tops of the bridges and whatnot to protect the sailors from shrapnel and splinters. So I don't know if you can see, they're all segmented, so you just cut off the amount you need. So hand drills might only need two, masts would be up the full length, etc. I'm not going to use these then. Maybe two parts. Okay, so that's that's everything in the Mark 1 design set. What I'll do is I'll just tidy up and then we'll come back and have a summary. Okay, now that we've looked at both sets, uh, we'll, we'll just summarize them. First question is, do you need both sets? Definitely not. Given the choice of picking one, in my opinion, I would go with the Pontos set. It's a much more complete set. If we look at the pros and cons, the instructions in here cover 99.9% .9 of the parts supplied. The instructions in the Mark 1 set is absolutely dire. There's so much in there that isn't covered by them. They're not the greatest quality. They're quite small. And there's not very many steps. You either have the parts of the completed gun and that's it. The Pontus ones you can, as I say, you can go online to their website and download high quality PDFs that you can zoom in on. The supplied parts, probably about 90% are similar. The Mark 1 for the other 10%, there's some really nice touches in there. The bridge controls, which again, Possibly won't be in view very well, but you get the compass binnacles, pedestals and ship's wheels, voice pipes, so you can fully kit up the bridge area. You get the flags as well. You, you don't get that in the Pointos. The Mark I design also has really well replacement parts for the tops, internals of the funnels, which is really nice because the molded plastic parts they're a bit soft, you'd have to drill them out, thin them down and whatnot. These are all replaced with brass. You also get a nice chrysanthemum for the bow in gold, which is really nice. But then they let it down with an example being the torpedo nets. So they supply the booms and the nets, but there's no rigging. So it goes against the laws of physics that that's going to be able to suspend without rigging. Pointos supply the booms and the nets and the rigging 
so that it can be held in the vertical, or sorry, the horizontal position. Some of the pointless parts, like replacing the bridge carvings with uh, full wedge plates, so you remove all the plastic and it's all fully replaced, which is really nice. You get the, or the, the brass propellers, which are nice. Uh, I don't remember seeing that ones in here. So maybe you don't get bra uh, propellers in the Mark 1. Pointers have skipped some of the footholds and uh, hatches on the hull extensions, whereas you get these with the Mark 1 set. The Admiral's Walk is quite a substantial assembly with three different layers. This is a single layer for that one. Like I say, 90% is about the same. There are some slight differences. They give you doors, or sorry, hatches for all the internal corridors. You don't get it in a point toss, possibly because it's not going to be very well seen. So I, I think you'd be happy with or either set. I think the Mark I would take a, a bit more effort and work just to work out what goes where, to be honest. Okay, so hopefully that's, uh, that's helpful. The next part, we'll dive in and start working on the kit, starting with the hull. Okay, thanks for watching.